Why did I say good at the end of that? Why did I say good? Why did I say good? I don't know. So we're, I'm gonna edit this, okay? We're gonna edit this to make it seem right. So you're gonna put it on someone else, Jordan. So nah. So it was like, it. nah. <laughs> Why did I say good? Said good. <laughs> no. Like, uh, it's like you know you have a nervous, you know, you know you have a nervous moment. You just say something. Yeah, you don't know what to say. Yeah, you're like, like, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. Unfortunately, we could not get an episode in last week because of scheduling nope. conflict. But we did get an episode out. It was some of our best moments. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. I thoroughly did because we are fried. So, yeah. welcome fried. back to another episode. We are on episode 84, right? Correct. Don't 84. forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Comment. And fuck it, like, yeah, throw a comment. Comment. Talk subscribe. some shit. Share us with your talk, friends. Talk some shit. There you go. Send to a friend. To a friend and then to another now, friend. Now, I do have, uh, we haven't addressed this yet, Matt. Took a week off, got hit with a, uh, went to the Fountain of Youth. Um, Matt. <laughs> There's Matt. What's up, Matt? Welcome back, buddy. He went in reverse, big dog. Yeah. Glad it's you could be Benjamin here. Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, so, fellas, we have a moment of silence. Oh, we have two moments of silences, right? Two. Okay, so I want to send out the first moment of silence to Morgan Spurlock. Who's a that? legend. Who's that? You know who Morgan Spurlock is? No. You? Come on, y'all. Y'all never seen Super Size Me? Before, is that oh, who that yeah. dude is? The redhead? Yes, I did bro. The, the dude that name. made the director of Super Size Me, uh, bro. They made us watch passed. that in the health class so we wouldn't be He did fat. it twice. He crazy. He said, fuck it, I'm going to do it again. That yes. shit was fun. Well, we got to send a moment of silence to that legend, bro. That's a documentary that we all probably watched in school. I actually watched it after I graduated. That's a couple crazy. years back. Yeah, bro. Passed away. Cancer. I guess he's, he's kind of Do you like think the redhead. McDonald's caused that? <sighs> I think you could. I mean, I'm he sure. He probably it, ate a lot too much of what. It let's just say it didn't help. It didn't help. 53. 53 years old. It's too young. Who did you want to send a moment of silence for, Jordy? Uh, Grayson Murray, PGA oh, player. Yes. That, um, Sad. Withdrew from, I don't know what the tournament is going on, but he withdrew. I think and it was a Charles Schwab? I don't know. Let's go with that. But I know ball. He, uh, yeah, he passed away, and then it came out today that his family said he took his own life. Mm-hmm. It's not a good thing. Yeah, he battled with uh, alcohol abuse, yep. I think it was. Alcohol abuse and depression for Man. a long time. And he was very open about it. I seen when he won, I want to say back in January, rather than the interviews afterwards being like, hey, congrats on winning. What are you going to do? Every question was about like his mental health and how he's fucked up. Ah, Like that probably doesn't help. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. That doesn't help. Well, let's hit a quick moment of silence, everybody, real quick. Just a quick moment of silence for those two gentlemen. Good. Why did I say good at the end of that? Why did I say good? Why did I say good? I don't know. All right, hold on. So we're, I'm going to edit this, okay? We're going to edit this to make it seem right. So you're going to put it on someone else, Jordan. So nah. Good. So it was like, it nah. nah. <laughs> Why did I say you good? Said good. <laughs> no. Like, uh, good boy. It's like, you know, you have a nervous, you know, good boy. you know, you have a nervous moment. You just say something. Yeah, you don't know what to say. Yeah, you're like, like, you're like, that's awesome. I just wanted to break the silence. I'm like, good. I'm like, good job. I feel fellas. like, uh, so where are we going after this guy? <laughs> yeah. Would have like, done just as good. Nah, keep it in. All right. All right, fellas. So I have a hypothetical for us. All right, let's go. All right. Hendrix, who are you a fan of? Football. That's Who's Matt. Matt. <laughs> We're going to call Matt for the rest of the episode. Matt. Who are you a fan of in football? Uh, Green Bay. Green Bay. Okay. Packers. All right. Um, so hypothetically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> what you just did was crazy. Tell him to put the Which, mic closer to him. That probably looked like I was there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> literally, he grabbed him with both hands. I said. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. All right. Get serious, there boys. You go. There you Hypothetically go. speaking, your team has been removed from the National Football League today. Oh, shit. Who are you a fan of now? Jordan, go think hard. I think Jordan should go last because he hates every other team besides the Steelers. He's a fan of some people. At this point, yeah. you're kind of players probably. Like, uh, yeah, like I feel like guy. it would go by player. Like, I'd probably be a Vikings fan. Ooh. Just, for J.J. Yeah. McCarthy. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Or ah. Char Chargers. I like their colors a lot, so it might that be Chargers. Sense. I'm going to go Chargers because Jim Harbaugh, too. Fuck it. All right, Chargers. Big Chargers guy. Yep. Um, Probably because of my brother Aiden. I'd go Packers okay. just for that fact. Oh, it's a family affair. 
he followed in the footsteps of the middle child. So, who would you be a fan of if the Packers weren't in the NFL? Oh, uh, probably the Browns because of you. Yeah, swag. All right, well, the Browns would be out, so I can't say the Browns like you. Um, listen, I'm a Browns fan. For don't the you say who don't the know. fucking Steelers? And, I know what uh, your answer is. No, uh, we've lost a lot. So I'm just go, gonna go ahead and bandwagon. Let's just get on the team that's winning. Let me, I'm gonna go ahead and be a Chiefs fan. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. So you're not a New England Brown anymore? Uh, there's gonna be some dark days in New England. I was only a New yeah. England Brown because of Tom Brady. That was it. I like Tom Brady. We did argue about that. Over, yeah, over it was. Text it was <laughs> only like it. It was just because that was the team he represented. <clears throat> but like, I didn't care anything about New England. I oh, I lied. But I lied about mine. Who are you thinking? I would still root for the Packers as my second team. Tampa Bay, baby. Baker's bringing home a chip to oh, Tampa. Oh, boy. All right. Camera back to me now. All right, I'm sorry. Is that BS? Um, but, yeah, I'm going with the Chiefs, bro. <laughs> Long story short, give me the Chiefs. I'm, I want to join a winning team. Been losing all my life with the Browns. Just say you like blonde women with no ass, bro. Ah, I'm telling my wife you said that. No, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm telling my wife you said it. Taylor Swift. <laughs> all right. So let's keep it pushing, guys. Your wife's a redhead. Yeah, but she's blonde at times. She's been blonde. Like mentally or like her hair yeah, color? Yeah, mentally and her hair color. When we got married, she was blonde. Nice. All right, so um, do mentally? you guys... <laughs> yeah, you know, psychologically too. Um, do you guys know who uh, Liz McGuire is? Not Lizzie McGuire. Not to be confused with Lizzie McGuire, the TV show from Disney Channel. Oh, that's before your era. You guys probably even know about that Mark is. Mark McGuire. That's what I thought you were referring to, but okay. I was like, I don't, I never watched the show really. Okay, so are you guys familiar with not that show, a current person in the world named Liz McGuire? That's hating in the WNBA? Or nope, not I'm WNBA. Saying, that's a normal civilian. Out sure, here. let me hear it. All right. So, so I got it's not question. a sports world thing. This is a sports world thing. But just not WNBA. But she does not herself play sports. Okay. 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 Inform us. All right. Jordan. Derek, Matt, I have a question for you guys. All right. You're at a baseball game, and you get struck in the face oh. by a 101-mile-per-hour fastball. Well, it's off the bat, so it's not a fastball. Foul ball. 109, right? 109-mile-per-hour foul ball. It's probably still ball. fast. Either way, it's 100-plus mile-per-hour. It don't matter, yeah. Jordan, what do you want from said team? Like, Obviously, there's no list of demands. They're not going to just call you like, hey, what can we do to make this better? They just typically offer you things. Yeah. But as a fan, what do you want? Like, what is in your list of demands? I want the bat and the ball. Okay. From the bat. From like Fuck the, it, from and the, the pitcher's glove, too. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I want all three of them just so that way like, I'll hang a picture of me with that fucked up eye. I did see that, by the way. I didn't know that was her name. But I'd... Post that picture, print it out, put it in a frame with my fucked yeah. up eye. Then you got like the glove, the bat, and the ball that all were a part of making your face that look like that. would be badass. Yeah. Okay. And I'm mad at that. Didn't she? She I probably wants some money too. But. She tweeted, right? Did um, you guys see the tweet of her saying, hey, um, this happened at the game. What can we do to like blah, 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 blah. Like yeah. she, she reached out kind of starting the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want you to read what she received. I just sent you the oh, picture okay. of her. But I don't want you to read what she received because I want you to tell me what you would ask for. And then I'm going to tell you what she received. And you tell me if this is enough for you. All right. I'm not a baseball person. Does this happen often? You would think it would happen way more often with probably the amount one. of foul balls. Once a year? I feel like it's probably about once a year. Yeah, maybe so, once okay. every other it's year. It's not that maybe. often. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I would want. Tickets to every game the rest of the year. That's a good one. I should have said that. Um, concessions paid for every time i go oh that's a good one i like that and do they have a box there yeah they got suites. Yeah. like a suite yeah. yeah and an option to go to the suite every now and then okay i think that'd be pretty cool jordan's i don't want to copy jordan's but jordan's won his decision to have the bat glove and all yeah. that was i want cool everything too. that was a part of yeah that was yeah no, that'd be pretty you. cool <laughs> okay. give, me, give me home plate too <laughs> yeah fuck it dude <laughs> pack a little bit of dirt in a drawer right what about you matt money Money? money? How much? How much <laughs> money? Uh, like fifteen five, bucks. That's what you're holding. Five hundred thousand. Okay. Five hundred thousand. I mean, that's nothing for an organization. Yeah, yeah that's can, like getting half a mil for something that happens. Like it's not common, semi common. That's might, a lot of money. They might. They might give it to you. Yeah, they might. You never know. That's it. Just money. Just money. Yeah, five hundred k. Hell yeah. I'm mad at that. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna be honest with you. She got robbed based off of what she got. So what, what would you want before so, you tell us what she so got? So first off, I want one full Bitcoin. 
All right. God. You now won one full Bitcoin. So less wants, than what he's asking. Yeah, that's yep. less. That's like 50K. 50, yeah, 50, 60, I think 70. it's around 69K right now. Okay. I want one full Bitcoin. That's right. Wire it straight to my Coinbase account. Um, I'm with Jordan. I want the ball that hit me in the face. I want she probably the got it low key. I want the oh, batter. 110. I want the batter who hit me. Sign it. Put Ooh. it in the case. I want that. Um, and then Derek, I actually had that idea down. I want a permanent suite. Permanent? Because like forever? Permanent. This is Dante Dawson's fixture, his suite. You, you know don't why? have that many suites at no, some I stadiums. It. I want it. Okay. <laughs> For this to happen, like imagine a team hits three people. Like that's yeah. three of your eight suites going. I, listen, I get it. I want it though. Because I don't ever want to come back to a game again. What will make me feel safe being in a suite? That will make me feel safe. Yeah, and make me want to go back again. Now, I know I'm not getting any of these things. This is just my list of demands. Absolutely. You By know the way, I, mean? I, want, I want to add to mine. And then I want when you're done. permanent lifetime tickets. And I'm not coming to every game, so I want the ability to be able to sell these tickets too. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make some money off Hell of this. Hell yeah. So I'm well, some if you money have a suite, aren't the tickets like included? I don't know. I you can like have my you, suite for the day. If you buy a suite, like the ticket's there. Can well, I'll I go take to the suite or. on my off day? Like yeah. you want a suite and you want like two seats like somewhere else? Nah, just... Listen, either or. If I can't get the suite, I want lifetime tickets, but I want the ability to sell these tickets. Don't Hell you yeah. tell me what I can do with my tickets. Hell yeah. Okay, these are mine. You hit me in the face with a 110 mile per hour foul ball. Give me my damn tickets. But what do you want to add to yours? I want to add to mine, the, like everybody, like you said, the signed ball. Mm -hmm. I want the ball signed by the batter, the bat the signed bat by the batter, <laughs> the ball signed by the batter and pitcher, and then the glove just by the pitcher. Just an autograph from everybody that touched each part of equipment. Yeah, I mean, because it was Bo Bichette that hit her. Yeah, and he rakes. So let's go through what she got. She got a signed Bo Bichette ball. I don't know if it was the ball, but it was one. I would assume it, it should be the ball, but I doubt it. She is. probably right. got the ball anyway. I mean, I mean it probably hit her in the head and fell like, into her lap. Yeah. Imagine you're at a game, you get hit in the face with a foul ball, and some savage just come and grab the ball. Like, that would be crazy. When we're done with this conversation, there's another one. Because um, there's a group of people that deserve to die. Um, oh okay. Right. Um, she got a pair Tickets to a game. One game? A game. That's terrible. Only says, two tickets. It says a pair of tickets to a game. That is terrible. An invite to a Blue Jays batting practice. I got hit in the face with a foul ball. What makes you think I want to come to a practice where they're doing nothing but hitting balls? <laughs> uh, you might be able to sit behind the net. I don't care. What if another one comes behind the net and hits me in the face? No, like they got like a little cage that goes behind home plate. And then... It goes through it somehow. Last but not least, her own... Tops I baseball saw that. card. That's badass, though. That's, that's disrespectful. That, no, that's sweet. That's, that's cool. sweet. Is it like what my lump on my head? Did you guys? See but that? listen, do I get do I get paid for that? Because they just took my picture and it's, it's probably a one on one. Go through the slide of if what I sent you. Right I did. Quick. Did you see the last picture? Yeah, that's crazy. I saw it the next day on Twitter. After I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. They made a, a card out of it. I thought it was like a not a card a, is sweet. The Photoshop one. Yeah. I thought someone just photoshopped it and was being funny. I didn't know Tops actually said. Let's make one. That's actually kind of cool. If they did, I mean, like, if she fan... makes residuals off it, that'd be cool. Yeah, who's they buying did... that though? No one. No, like you buy a pack, and like if the, oh, your card is in there, then you get a residual. Like if they off did fan pack. moments, I think okay. that would be pretty cool. Like that's a fan moment for like yeah. several sports. Okay. Like the Buffalo Bills, if there's a picture of a dildo on the field, because they'd be throwing dildos randomly <laughs> on the field. Okay, I was gonna field. say. You know so, I mean? so since like... you said they should do that, what would your one moment be for like if you could make a fan edition? card for any sport what would it be oh a browns would be easy when they're wearing a trash bag you oh know, yeah the fan of the dude oh, is wearing absolutely. a trash bag i want that on the card that's hard i know that's hard that summarizes our franchise in yeah. one bait and one football card loyola chicago could have had uh oh sister what's her jean. name sister jean is like sister that jean? could have been a sister yeah. jean card that's probably wrong but yeah Ooh. i want the her uh, name sister jean is probably not right no i think that's right i think it is right it sounds right i know but yeah. that's right I want I want the uh, the streaker at the Super Bowl. Ah, in that pink onesie. Yeah, that should be a card. So okay. so yeah. Did who was it on when we when I brought this up? I think that should be a segment. Yeah, that should like be a, a question. Segment. Yeah. So go I ahead. I believe it was that. on you. So like I brought it up. Just too. ask okay. it one more time, just in case it wasn't. Well, I, I asked you, who like what moment would you have? All right, then you say it then, because okay. you brought it up. Fuck yeah, you say it. <clears throat> <laughs> so, oh yeah. If you could pick one fan moment to be like on a card for like tops for any sport, what would it be? Bam. Fire. What about you, Matt? I know you watch a lot of sports. Um, big, big ball guy. Probably the Green Bay, like, or Green Bay Cheesehead dudes. Okay. Yeah. 
on a card. I don't know. You got to have somebody doing the Lambo leap. Oh, the Lambo leap. Yeah. Jumping up. You know or Aaron Rodgers, the discount double check. Yeah. But that's just him, though. Yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's, yeah not a, it's not really it's a not fan, a fan moment. moment. Right, right. Um, all right, let's just keep it pushing real quick. Um, I, I almost had a messed up one. You want to go to your thing real quick since we're on the topic of baseball? Uh, White sure. Sox? Yeah, yeah, we can go to that. Um, I got to figure out which day it was. The White Sox were playing the Orioles, though. And a couple days ago. They're mounting a comeback. There was a pop, pop fly, pop up. Yeah, pop up. To the shortstop. And they called infield the infl- fly. infield fly rule. So why, when they called the infield fly rule, could they also call interference on the guy that was on second base, going back to first, that it was not an intentional, like, hey, I'm getting in your way. He didn't know that's where the shortstop was coming from. In my opinion, that's the shortstop's fault. Why were you shifted over so far? If you needed to get to the ball, don't be standing where you are. Right. If I mean, they were coming back. I don't remember what the exact score was. I've given up. I'm a White Sox fan, given up on watching. <laughs> It'd but, be like that. I mean, there's so many games, and they lose almost all of them. So it's like even harder than watching an 0-16 <laughs> football team. Facts. It's but, like watching an 0-196. Yeah. Team. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm just confused as to how that ended the game. Like, that could have been one of our 19 wins for the year. And, like, why was that called? That seemed like that just wasn't right. Maybe there are some people out there that watch baseball that know more than me that could tell me, hey, even in an infield fly, that don't count. But in my opinion, I think the refs were like, all right, bro, I'm trying to go home. Yeah, let's we're get this on the game south side with. of Chicago. I'm trying to go the fuck home, bro. Yeah, because I get what you're saying about it. It definitely does seem like that shouldn't have been called with the infield fly because the batter's automatically out. Yeah, the right. runner from – or the, the batter. Yeah. Is, so calling a double play on that – is pretty wild. Like, I'm not yeah, going to lie. Pretty that, that's pretty wild. So I, that's probably one of those times where Ump's got that messed up. And like you said, we have seen cases where you think, like, they're like, let's get out of here, man, in this game now. That's why baseball's the worst sport to watch. Oh, you think so? Yeah, baseball's dead. Dang. Baseball's get rid of it. Hey, get rid of baseball. TikTok question. What do we think is the worst sport to watch? Mine is hockey. Oh, hockey? Listen, I've tried. You have to repeat that. Derek was talking when you, like, introduced what do we think is the worst sport to watch? For me, it's hockey. Hockey? Listen, <laughs> I'll, I'll listen, reenact my damn fucking listen, surprise I, again. I've tried. I've heard playoff hockey is crazy, so I'm going to be honest with you. I've watched it. I actually bet on a the Hurricanes. The Dallas Stars don't impress you? No. I bet on the Hurricanes and the Rangers. Uh, I think it was one series ago, maybe two. I don't remember. Just bet on it blindly. Somebody called it out. Hurricanes money line. Well, they went into two overtimes. That's electric. And I, it didn't do nothing for me. Mm-hmm. Nothing. You like baseball more? More than Strictly anything. watching, not in person. Yeah. I, Excluding I, in person. Yeah, and I've been to a hockey game in person too. So uh, eh, Not in NHL, right? Hey, man, the Phantoms go. Not NHL okay. playoffs. Okay, if I'm comparing <laughs> if I'm comparing the Phantoms to the Scrappers, I'm going to be honest, bro. Okay. I'm going to the Scrappers game. All right, well, they have dollar what? Dollar, yeah, they but got the, that the lines, are, the lines are so long, bro. You get like two beers and they're warm. Like mine is hockey. Sue me. All right. Jordy. Uh, I'm gonna pick kind of an oddball one here, and a lot of people are gonna hate me. He's gonna say basketball. Nope. NASCAR. Ooh. I mean boy. I understand they're going 200 miles an hour, but bro, they're making left turns. Over and West and over. Virginia is about to be at you. Like, I I just don't get it. I'm not a big fan of basketball, but I still watch it. Playoff basketball is fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Playoff hockey is fun to watch. I'm a Penguins fan. Even when they're not in it, I'll watch. Okay. But can't. obviously, I, I, think, can't. I think football is the most exciting sport to watch for me. But I NASCAR, I just, uh, I'd just rather watch paint dry. Okay. Yeah. F1 is cool. NASCAR is The not. Kentucky Derby. Rather watch paint dry, right? Yeah, I'd rather watch NASCAR than the Kentucky. It might be horse racing. Does that count as a sport? Nah, we're going to exclude nah, that because it's not as popular. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll, say, we'll say NASCAR. Just the power five in sports. The power um, five. Mine really isn't baseball. I just don't enjoy watching baseball, but if I had to choose, I'm watching baseball over golf. Oh, bro, uh, nah, golf is electric. Yeah, that's what maybe, I was going to pick. Maybe it's because we do golf. You, you I don't think golf. golf? Yeah, golf I is think it's because we play, like, that we low-key think it's more exciting. Mike, closer to you, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that was on him. Was that on him? No, it was on you. Uh, uh, he's, he's making what, some Matt, big... what's your sport? I didn't uh, choose mine. but Probably soccer. I thought you did. No. I'm soccer? Sorry. Yeah. 
the field's like way too big and the games are like so long. low scoring once again man yeah it's like hockey. an zero zero that's on, the one thing i hate about hey, uh, soccer bet on the soccer game saturday man you versus man city it was electric it was electric. i'm saying i would probably say golf You're i'm trying to think crazy. of a slow a very slow pace i mean highlights of golf are cool to watch I mean, I get it. it I'm not is sitting a lot. the whole day. It, it does. Bro, I agree you, with Derek. You think I'm going to sit the whole damn day to watch golf? Hell I do no. agree with Derek to the point of like, if you're watching golf and you see a dude that's supposed to be really sweet hit a shot that you would hit at your local golf course, that's not as exciting to watch. Yeah, but your local. Golf but when you're watching the last day, and it's like yeah. coming down to the wire on you know, guys are two three strokes off of each other. There's who's, who's winning? They're going the last stroke day, for that's stroke. Exciting. Stroke, stroke for stroke, stroke is there. crazy. That is crazy. But wow. Is that what you're picking as golf? I'll pick golf. I'd rather watch my uh, optic gaming guys, Call of Duty. Digital rather athletes, watch huh? <coughs> oh, my. Digital athletes. Shout out to Hydro. Hey. Who? Hydro. He's a streamer. And okay. He calls himself a digital athlete. They're like, hey, you that streamer. He goes, no, I'm not a streamer. I'm a, I'm digital, a digital athlete. athlete. <laughs> he was working crazy. cats, too. I'm going to send you some of his videos. He working cats. He's, he's better than you. Don't no, even. Yeah. Yes, no. he is. I just don't stream. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. He's better. Uh, better. Setup Are you than moving into basketball? We're moving into basketball, okay. baby. I have something that's completely mm -hmm. off topic of sports. Okay. So we could do it now or after. You want to wrap up with that? We can. Sure. We can do that now because I mean we have the Mavs and Timberwolves playing. So yeah, we'll, live. We'll we do can. That now. We we can push that off till a little later. So before we get to the current playoff standings, I want to ask you guys something. Who do you think will win in a seven-game series between the 2001 Los Angeles Lakers and the 2016 Golden State Warriors? Now, if you don't remember that Los Angeles Lakers starting five, I'll refresh your memory. Kobe Bryant, Rick Fox, Derek Fisher, Horace Grant, and Shaquille O'Neal. And then refresh your memory on the 16 Warriors, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Andre Iguodala, Draymond Green, and Andrew Bogut. Now, I want to share my opinion first. The 2016 Warriors couldn't even beat the 2016 Cavaliers, so there's no way in hell I'm picking them to beat the Lakers. Weren't the best team in the NBA. Not picking them. I don't care if they went 73-9. First off, no answer for Shaquille O'Neal. Don't no. care how many people you got in the paint. There is a literal picture of him dunking on five NBA players at once. If you don't believe me, Google it, the New Jersey Nets. Every single player on that team is in the picture. All right? Kobe Bryant, Clay was a very good defender at that time. He's not guarding Kobe. Not 2001 Kobe, no. no. He's the best person on the Warriors to guard exactly. Kobe. He has the best chance. Yes. Bean is cooking him. RIP. Not even close. Okay. Derek Fisher, one of the best closers, man. Derek Fisher has a lot of game-winning shots for that Los Angeles Lakers team. True. I don't think it's close. I'm going to give them a gentleman's sweep, and I think the Lakers win 4-1. Shaq is the finals MVP, averaging a whopping 30 and 20. 20 rebounds. 20 rebounds. He had a finals where he averaged 17. Yeah. And that's when they Maybe. had actual big men. It might have been 17. Don't fact check me. Okay. Well, let's not fact check him. I'm going to fact check myself while y'all talk about it. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to agree with Dante on the Lakers. I think that they win 4-2. to two. Warriors get one at home and then magically Bogut. Or Draymond. One of the two kicks Shaq in the nuts and he sits the rest of the game. Yeah. <laughs> and they get one there. But I, I don't see anybody, even if you hold Kobe to what's considered a bad game for Kobe. 20 points. You can't stop Shaq. <laughs> and if you somehow triple team Shaq and get him to a, what's considered a bad game for him, Kobe's getting off. So Getting off. Hey, yeah. Getting off. <laughs> no Diddy. All Diddy. But I, I think... I think Lakers like four to two. Yeah, I. No one's guarding Shaq. It's going to be a sweep. The Lakers four zero because who are the big men for the Warriors? You got Draymond. You got Maurice Bates. You got Festus Azili. You got Andrew Bogut, and then you got Verajao and Kevin Kevon Looney. Looney. Yeah, I mean, but dog. He yeah he Rookie played that year. He averaged what four point two minutes a game that year so he was not seeing the floor um none of those players are going to be able to guard Shaq they are fouling out they have no big men um the only way that the Warriors have a chance is to spread that floor 
and having Curry and Clay run those off ball screens to one mm-hmm. another or through Draymond, anything like that, yep. and getting open and shooting shots that way. On defense, they are cooked. They aren't stopping mm-hmm. anybody. Curry, liability. Thompson, I don't want to say he can hold his own, but he's the best defender on that team, him and Draymond. And Draymond is undersized. So Draymond can't guard Shaq. You're going to have to put someone else on him. I don't know who the hell you're going to put on Shaq. Draymond would be guarding who? Horace Grant? Shaq's 7'1", 325. I think, honestly, it'd be a double. I mean, Draymond did describe how they would guard him. He said they would have Andrew Bogut behind him, and uh, Draymond Green dropped in front of him. And then Kobe's what, ISO? Well, and as, then, they, then they're going to double him, and he's going to kick out to Fisher for three? Well, <laughs> like, as Shaq said on the podcast, they tried that. Yeah, they did. <laughs> like That's literally what he said, and it didn't work. His whole career, they tried that on Shaq, and it did not work. Listen, I'm looking at his finals numbers over his years. They crazy? I mean, his video game numbers. Oh, I mean, that's what I'm saying, and you're comparing it to the 2015-2016 Warriors that had no real physical big men. Big men, men. yeah. And, and their offense wasn't even played, like— their big men weren't their best defenders, nope. nor their best offensive players. Yeah, they were just guys. Just, just a couple jags. I mean, Draymond Green back then, he was very valuable. One defense player a year, I think, He's maybe very a valuable. year or two later after that. But not good enough to fucking guard Shaq. Shaq averaged 16.6 <clears throat> rebounds versus the Indiana Pacers in that final series. You said 17. You were right there. I mean, listen, this is. I'm just going to spit out some rebound numbers real quick. Yeah. Uh, 19, 24, Me 20, at the y. 20, 16, 24. I mean, he had 20 rebounds in his finals career. It's like like seven, eight times. And then his points is even more absurd. 43, 40, 36, 41, 44, 40. Like Shaq showed up in the finals <laughs> and delivered. Like he delivered. Field goal percentages is even crazier. I mean, <laughs> 62, 64, 67, 75, 81 for a game. I mean, <laughs> I crazy. think as he should, though. It's all Because we all know who Shaq is. But yeah. that's just showing you. There's nothing you can do. No, he's 40 not. points on 67%. I mean, my dude is making seven out of 10 shots, essentially. Like, you're not stopping the dude. And that's why I think it's Lakers in five. I'll give the Warriors one game of hot shooting. That's it. All right, Matt, what do you got on that? Uh, I probably think the Lakers would win because, like, Shaq. He's tall enough he could probably dunk uh, without even needing yeah. to jump. Yeah, you don't even need to jump. Just I, yamming on him. Right can, on their heads. Hey, I concur. And Steph came and, like, uh, shoot over Shaq. Shaq's tall enough so Shaq could easily steal it, steal ball, pass Walk it to ass. Kobe. Kobe could get that shit up. Yeah, windmill, 360, 360. windmill. Yeah. 360 windmill. Yeah, yeah. Love the input, Matt. Facts. I think you got to think, guys. This is Matt before he, he was – all the, ball, all the ball sure. knower. Right. So, yeah, they, you didn't realize the fountain of youth also took away your knowledge. Yeah. It definitely does. So we're, we're, we're trying to reteach him everything again. <laughs> LeBron's the greatest of all time, right? Yeah. See? Sweet. We're, Smart, we're teaching him say all it again, over say it again. again, Matt. So who's the GOAT? <laughs> who's the GOAT? LeBron. Yeah. We're Facts. done with the 90s. Jordan sucks. Done with the 90s. Done with the 90s. We're done with the 90s. All right. All right so. Hey, fuck the dude that... Quote, unquote, made that up, by the way. I know. Did but you we'll, see me comment back to we'll him? We'll continue yeah. past that. I did, too. I did, too. <laughs> I came out. Um, so let's move to current playoff talk. But I want to start it off with something fun. Told him to 1v1 me. <laughs> I hate you. I said, all right, yeah, I'm going to bring it back up because I got to pull it up because I know you said you're going to ignore it. You bring your part up. I'm, I apologize. It's okay. You're good. You're good. I, I want excited. everybody to talk. I got excited. I don't want to be hogging the mic. Yeah, big hog. Big you know hog. <laughs> you remember we were talking about hogs the other day? <laughs> <laughs> what okay. they, they say? <laughs> what they say, Jordan? <laughs> you said you remember we were talking about hogs the other day. <laughs> Who got a? <laughs> Never mind. All right, so this is what he said. Keeping it clean, bro. Because I brought it up pretty. It quick. wasn't me that said he got a hog. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Derek. Some dude that I guess played for the Chicago Bears at one point, and a former NFL wide receiver. Not even to give him a shout out or anything, because I don't even know who the fuck it is. No, we're not mentioning his name. He's not getting no clout from us. He said, "Man stole from," and then added the dude that eventually commented. And the dude said, it's like the whole world started stealing from me. Bro, no one stole anything else from you. Have you guys ever heard of a word? Influence? Ooh. What about trend? Ooh, I like that one. That's a, that's a big star word for that. And this is what I said to him. Go ahead. I said, I promise I did not steal it from you. To be honest, I don't know who you even are. So keep believing people are stealing your vids when it was a whole ass trend shaking my head. Facts. You want to read my comment? Is, I, it, is it up there? I will. Because I went at him too for you. Because I'll I'll uh, 
I'll finish our conversation. He said, it's my trend I started. And then he said, you didn't learn nothing at Kent State, zesty dude. He called you zesty. That's crazy. And uh, <laughs> his zesty is such a crazy. No, and he I said is too a little bit, a little spicy. Anyways, he said, "Well, good job." I said, "Well, good job." People are making their own content with that idea. Don't be a sour apple dog. And I said, "We can take an IQ test to see who knows more." Clown. Also, this zesty dude would snatch your old ass ankles. Ah, and he didn't bad. reply. I like it. You tell him, Bogdan. Ogden, yeah, thanks. Bro, Ogden. he ran he randomly pulled it up. He said, You look like this guy. And I was like, a lot of people think so. People comment on it all the time. Y'all got bogged on there? Um, Dante said, to be honest, we didn't see uh see it on your page. We seen many videos on TikTok with the trend we done with the 90s. Anytime uh anytime we are inspired by another video from someone else's platform, we gladly give credit. When we use something from you, we will gladly tag you or shout you out. Mm-hmm. So Dante was too damn nice. I just, I and that's know. when I came at him. I said, you know, fuck it. I'm sick of being nice. <laughs> he said, you know what? I'm fucking nice. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking sick of it. Sick of it. All right, that's all. I told you I was done going at people in 2024. I remember I we just... talked about it. It's like, it's better to be nice. You know, yeah, they could be our friends. Exactly. And I, I saw it and I said, nah. Gloves is off. <laughs> nah, fuck Glo- that. Gloves is off. Fuck that guy. All right. So I want to start off playoff talk real quick with a start, bench, cut, trade. Trade, Jalen. Starting with Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, and Jason Tatum. I've already done mine. Do you guys want me to go first so you can do yours real I quick? I got mine in my head. Luka, easy. Edwards, Tatum, who? Halliburton. Ah, yeah, Tyrese is getting... Uh... <clears throat> want me to go? Should I, should I yeah, mine? you go first. Um, I'm going to start Luka. Second best player in the NBA. Maybe first. Could be 1A, 1B situation. Low, and some people say Jokic, Luka could be there. That's my guy, starting Luka. I'm going to bench Ant-Man. I I ah. would take him over. I'm taking him over Jason Tatum right okay. now. I don't care yeah. what you say. Don't yeah. care. Don't care. I know. Celtics hater. Yep. Love That's it. Um, I'm actually going to cut Tyrese Halliburton. And the only reason why I'm going to trade Tatum is just because you I think I can value. Get, get more value out of that guy. Yeah, a lot of people think he's that guy. I know he's not, though. I know deep down he ain't him. You ain't Kobe, bro. You ain't that guy, but I'm going to trade you. Shout out to Jalen Brown because he's just as good as Tatum. Hey, so what are you doing, Jordan? Yeah, I said it. The moment you said the names, your your list is exactly what popped in my head. Yeah. Because I hate the Pacers and I hate the Celtics. (laughs) So Halliburton, I I think Halliburton's overrated a little bit low-key. It's starting to look like it. Um, I said he was inconsistent. I don't watch the games, but when I bet on him to score 19 and a half or more, and he scores 10. And he scores 10. I'm like, dude, I thought you were supposed to be like a fucking dog or something. Um, but yeah, same order and everything. I, I completely agree with your list. That's exactly how I had it. I like it. There, same list. Yeah, I'm going to say same list. Luca and Ant-Man, they're the one and two. Um, so now here's the thing. Ant, the past couple of games, looking a little, uh, a little, uh. a little cold. But... He's the number one guy over there, and he doesn't have as much help as the Celtics do. Do you want to update right. on what he's doing right now? Do you have it? Or I do, do you want, have it. You do have it? I do have it. I was going to say, I have it up too, so it's completely up to you if you want to run it down. I know he only has 12 points. Well, he has 12 points. He's 4 for 14 from the field, 0 for 2 from 3, but he has 6 rebounds and 6 assists. Yeah, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit here. Luca, we're going to start. Oh, my God, Daniel Gafford has 0 points. Benching, benching Jason Tatum. We're going to trade Anthony Edwards because you're going to get a lot from Anthony Edwards because of how young he is. Okay, switching You're going to have a lot. I like it. And one of the most inconsistent stars, Tyrese Halliburton, you're bye-bye, brother. Ow, peace bye-bye. out. What about you, Matt? Hit us with it, Do you have the list? Oh, uh, yeah. So, honestly, I'm going to start Luca. Swag? I'm going to probably bench Tyrese Halliburton. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to trade Jason Tatum. Get a lot of value. Okay. And okay. then... Cut Ant. Yeah, just get Anthony Edwards out of here. Damn, because he, he looks like MJ. And fuck MJ. We don't want yeah, the 90s, right? MJ. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel you. He really trying to... Don't show uh, this to mom. <laughs> don't show this to mom. So let, let's get into some playoff Bro, talk. Bro, he's 18. All right, go on. Let's get into some playoff <laughs> talk, boys. Um, what do we, Where do we want to go? We want to go Boston, um, Indy. We want to go the real series. Mavericks, Dallas. 
I haven't watched a single game since the Cavs got you eliminated. Gotta you gotta stop saying that. We can. Uh, <laughs> so stop we're gonna skip that. me. No, I don't you have just to stop gotta listen, stop well, saying that. I have no input though. I think we should talk about the Pacers and Celtics just because it's a three zero. It could be a two one in Pacers favor. Should be two one. It could be a two one in the Pacers. It favor. should be. Um, we can go to the very first game. I think they lost. That was close. The Tyrese Halliburton to where. Looked like he could have drove inside with the couple seconds left, and then he kicked it back out, like ran back out to the three, and then shot a crazy three to go yep. to OT. Could have won that game. Do you, did that game give you any previous history vibes? Maybe your team? Did it like make you think of maybe like rewind back to the year two thousand and eighteen, the finals between the Lakers or the Lakers, the Warriors? Not the as Cavaliers, bad. LeBron Are you talking about James, game one? Not as 50. bad. Not as bad. Uh, listen. Are you talking about the George Hill's free throws? And made then one. Smith run away from the hoop. Made one. <laughs> Missed the second one. JR gets the rebound and runs away. <laughs> so you could talk about how bad it's not that one was. But listen, it is that bad. You know why? Forget the moment. Forget what that game meant. That's what you okay. want to remember. Because I think those two games between the Pacers, that game one, and then the Cavaliers game one, change the entire trajectory of those series because Agreed. you get those games in their houses, it's a different story on the series. You, you steal one game at the beginning, and then what happened? Both teams went down 3-0 after that. Yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Both went in overtime. Both didn't go well for the team who was winning in overtime. Yeah. Just gives me 2018 vibes. That's all I'm so saying. So I, I, the only reason I'm not going to say it, I agree with that point. So but the situation completely the different because like, oh the ball. game stopped. You're at the free throw line. You have a chance to look at the fucking clock in the score, Jr. No offense, you yeah. can. Yeah. At that time, where we're gonna at you, Jr. Yeah, in this video. you're running out of time, and Tyrese has the ball. It's just you're trying to find a good shot. He just terrible decision. He wa- he wants to um, pass too much, and he passes up when I think good yes. looks when he could really just put the ball in the hoop. And game three, the most recent game. Shout out Andrew Nemhart. He's on my Seattle Swarm squad in 2K. You know, he's a dog. But Seattle Swarm is a WNBA team. Huh? I made an NBA team on my uh, franchise. What you doing on the mic, man? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, made a, I made an NBA team on my... Isn't the my, Seattle Swarm a WNBA team, though? I don't think so. Look it up. I thought it was... A, no, I won't see Seattle Storm? Storm, maybe. Let's double check real quick. Dang, I'll be <clears throat> claiming a no WNBA ball. I'm sorry, keep going. I didn't. It is. It is the storm. Okay, so not the swarm. Yeah. Sorry, ladies. Hater. <laughs> Anyways, Andrew Demhard had a career game. What 31? Yeah, he just wasn't missing. He was making crazy shots. You got to win that game. Is that a foul on Drew Holiday? Yes. Did you watch it? Yes, I think it was a foul. Body. I think you got him with the body first. Yep. I don't think you call that though. I don't <sighs> think you call that. Not in that part of the game. They call, Well, they called the one for Drew when he hit that and one, though. Okay. You know what true. I mean? I don't think you call that either. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You let everything, you kind of let everything go. Because yeah. Siakam did the same thing on the other end where yep. he fell. Yep. You know, they hands up in the air wanting it. But you kind of yeah. let it go. The one thing I want to say about playoff basketball specifically. If you get an irregular game out of a player... You have to win that game. Andrew. Well, when you get 30 plus out of Andrew Nimhart, I know there was no Halliburton, but he's never given you 30 before. But that's like the I same. Don't know, I don't know his career highs before that. 25, 26, 27, 28, around there, maybe. It could be 20 for all we know. But that was his career high in any NBA game. Exactly. When you get an irregular game out of a player, P.J. Washington, you remember when he went crazy last year? T.J. Warren in the bubble. T.J. Warren in the bubble. <laughs> all right. Or the Cavs Al without Horford Donovan Mitchell. Night. Yeah. He has seven threes. Yeah, but that's what he does. He's 42. That's what he does. He is older He sits than Le- in the corner. He's old enough to be Or LeBron's waits at the dad. wing and then shoots that. <laughs> he's shit. literally old it's, enough It's to not be even LeBron's a jump dad. shot. He stands and shoots that thing. So <laughs> just if he's open. <laughs> right. I mean, you expect that more out of Al Horford. They're not like he's right. going crazy and making plays seven like threes that. Seven crazy, though. But he's, yeah, it's a stand and shoot. He's just hitting the shots. Okay, true. But similar to the Cavs and... Celtics, when they didn't have Donovan Mitchell, they almost won a game. Yeah, they went crazy. Without Donovan. Mm-hmm. Went crazy. And choked it. I mean, I don't think anyone had a crazy game. No, but it, it was, was a cohesive effort. Yeah. Between them. Um, Quads getting better. But I agree. I, I think the, the Celtics is going to be a sweep. 
I think uh, the quad's getting big, bro. Tyrese, I don't think I don't think Tyrese is gonna do anything for the Pacers if he comes back. Yeah, this series is over. I thought it was over from uh, the beginning. Um, listen, the Pacers are a young, fun team, but I'm gonna be honest. When I saw the matchup, I thought the Knicks was a much better matchup, even though obviously the Pacers beat them. But ooh, burps. You good? <laughs> I burped. <laughs> the matchups matter. Yeah, and I thought the New York Knicks matched up way better with the Celtics. That, I thought that too, and then you watch Game One, you're like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, the Pacers, the Pacers might be able to win this thing. They're just young, man. If you look, they had down, two games they could have won. Yeah, like I said, it should be, I could be two one. I mean, it should be two one. Siakam was a great pickup too. But that's what happens when you have young teams with young stars in the playoffs. They tend to fold. Go back to the Thunder. Right now, even though they're not a young team, the the Timberwolves is an inexperienced playoff team outside of Rudy for the most part. I mean, Mike Conley. Not really. Mike Conley. Hey, what do you mean, not really? Like, Rudy's not that, I don't think he's that well playoff versed. No. Getting first was, rounded in the, with the Jazz. Yeah, but they I don't made think it that's playoff, enough. But they made it to the playoffs every year with Donovan Mitchell. Getting they never first missed rounded. It. Yeah, listen, it's still playoff. You know what experience. I mean? Like, yeah. I don't think that's much, no offense, I don't think that's much experience. Right. I mean, playoff experience matters. And when you see these young teams who you're like, oh, this is their first he, time in the playoffs. He never made a run, though. Years. No. So no. he doesn't know what it takes, right? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe second round. Never made it to the conference finals. No, I don't I'll think so. I'll tell you that. I don't think so. Did Conley ever make it to the conference finals with the Grizzlies? Maybe it was Gasol? Like Mark Gasol. I don't know. I don't remember. He has Zach a lot of Randolph? playoff experience. Yeah, he has a lot. Of, he has the most. So do we want to predict who we think is going to be in the finals, or do we think it's like a foregone conclusion? Celtics, Mavs? Celtics, Mavs. I'm going to be honest. Mavs. Dallas Mavericks Nation. Dirk Nowinski, Nowinski, Mark Cuban. Sold it. I apologize. I apologize. I was unfamiliar with your game. I didn't think they would get past the baby thunder. What about Kyrie? Kyrie, I know what Kyrie go do. Luca? Kyrie's hit a, the, one of the biggest shots in Cleveland Cavaliers history. Like, I know what Kyrie go do. He liked that. PJ? No. Derek? Kentucky legend, though. No. Derek? Which one? Jones? No. Um, but Lively? I was unfamiliar with their game. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Going into the playoffs, you see the Mavs. You're like, they're just a team. I, that's what I looked at. So they're like, they're just a team. They're playing through their two two star players, Luka and Kyrie, iso ball for yep, the most bunch part. Of, bunch of Jags, man. And then defensively, Derek Lively's there. Mm-hmm. Offensively, P.J. Washington stepped up and hitting shots. Um, Derek Jones, another great, you know, fit. Their their fits are perfect. It's that big athletic roller. Yeah. Well, they, you got Derek Jones, role. Gafford. You have yeah. those big athletic rollers that are setting the screens for you, mm-hmm. and you decide whether to lob it up to him or just take your own shot. Well, the biggest thing is outside of Kyrie and Luca, those other guys they don't do too much. PJ Washington don't try to do too much. He stands in the corner, he shoots, he rebounds. Go to, go to the hoop every once in a while, shoot a mid range. Derek Jones Jr. He might not attempt ten shots a game. Daniel Gafford rebound. Tim. Yeah, he just re- whoa. Tim. Yeah. Hardaway. Uh, he hasn't played. I know that's what I'm saying. He has played, but, but like he hasn't played. Though. Like the type of player he is, he's an ISO dude. Yeah, for sure. He hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't been in the game. They haven't needed him. Nope. You know, same thing with Dante Exum. Yeah, Dante Exum hasn't seen the floor really. And but he, he did throughout the season. Luca and Kyrie time, are playing 42 minutes a game. There's no reason for them to come in. Is that going to be a problem though? Not in the finals. I don't think so. No. Luca's knees. Luca's knee is hurt, but I mean, you see, he looked, he looked at Gobert in the eyes and saw food. And you know what he said after he hit that shot? What? You can't guard me, Frenchie. How did he say Frenchie? Nah, he said, you can't guard me, boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, he said that. He liked when he sat down and they were like, you can't fucking guard me, huh? He was like, what? Who said oh, that? Yeah, he's speaking <laughs> in Slovenian. Yeah, he's song. like, I was speaking Slovenian. <laughs> was, you got to love Luca, man. That's my dog, bro. You saw the, you see the still picture of Jaden McDaniels behind Rudy Watch with his, his face. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's cooked. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh, Wait, did you see his hand though? Like, come back. He's like, like no. no, switch me. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> I'm just going to fight over top the screen now. So, so well, while we're ahead. talking about this, I know I haven't had any input in a while. <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jeff Teague. Dante, we talked about it already. Uh-huh. He's a hater. Jeff no, Teague ain't. said that you cannot be a defensive player of the year back to back if you're getting switches on to you. Okay. I wanted your guys' opinion on that on record. I know we talked about it in the shop, but on record, can you be a defensive player of the year and like teams play into a switch to have you guard them? 
can I respond with another quote <laughs> from another former player? Because you had it's, an outline. Sure. Yeah. So I yeah, had you bring outline. your part up first too. So former player Antonio Daniels. Um, if you don't know who he is, he played for the Wizards. That's really the only place I remember him from personally. Question: Was he on call or on the commentary? Yes. He so was he the, was the one that said it. So yeah, someone said it during the game, basically. Yes. Was that and him? yes, so okay. he also uh, he commentated for the um, the Toronto Raptors. He was the one that kept pausing the one dude, and he was like, "And Dick with the stick, like you know what <laughs> okay, I mean? Okay. Like and Dick drives, yeah. Dick slams." And yeah. he was like, "Pause, bro! Like you can't keep <laughs> yeah. saying that." So Antonio Daniels said, um, "I'm paraphrasing. I could not find the quote. I seen it. And I meant to save it, but um, he essentially said that we, as fans and as a sport, have began to overrate interior defense." And we are starting to underrate versatile perimeter defenders, guys who can guard one through four, one through five. And then he specifically said, like when Draymond won defensive player of the year, look at what he could guard at that time. All five. Even Marcus Smart, his defensive player of the year. Derek White. Derek White. He didn't win, but he's... Yeah, yeah, I think he came in like similar third. to Marcus Smart. Yeah, I think Mark, he's a better defender than Marcus yeah, Smart. Yeah, Marcus Smart isn't going to guard your five. But it's not necessarily a bucket if your five gets the ball down low because he's probably going to get a charge. He can still steal that shit, too. He's, he's probably going to smack the ball down or get a charge. But to your point, no. I don't think you could be a defensive player of the year. And they see you and they see food. Luka wanted that switch. Yeah. Jokic that was his gave whole him point. almost 40. Yeah, that was his whole point was like, you can't be a defensive player of the year and – Teams want you to guard their best player. Mm-hmm. Like, right. Draymond, teams were game planning to get him off of their best player. 100%. Get set in screens, That's, get him out of here. Yeah. Do something to give us some space from him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Derek, what do you think? So here's the thing when it comes to being an interior defender and having a chance to win that defensive player of the year, I think it is okay in certain scenarios. Um, you've seen clips of Wemby to where they're on a fast break. Wemby's the only dude down the court. He's in the paint. And what and do they do? They're doing what a, do they do? They're doing a three-man weave still hey, trying to get away from him. Those cats refuse to go into the paint when Wemby was yeah. down there. They don't do that with Gobert, though. They might. No. But here's my, here's my scenario. I don't know. <laughs> Interior defenders. If they are stopping other teams from wanting to drive in, there is a case for that because you're making them play a whole different type of game. Um. But at the same time, versatile defenders like Draymond, they're not scared to go in the paint because Draymond's there. You know right. what I mean? But he is able to guard every position, and he's able to guard on the perimeter. Um, I personally thought Wemby had a chance to win Defensive Player of the Year just because he's more versatile than Rudy. Yeah. And he might be a better interior defender than Rudy. I. It's pretty damn close. I thought Wemby should have won Defensive Player it's of the Year. It's pretty damn close. So I just I think you can get get it to interior defenders. But only for the reason if they are stopping usually every team from playing their own game. Like they're not. Oh, I like that. You know what I mean? Oh, I like that. So dropping bars. Say that again. I forget. No, <laughs> no. Just say it again. It say it again. again. Say it again. Well, I like that. But no, I I did say it before. I think you ignored me. That was my second time I said it. It's okay. But <laughs> I was texting my wife. It's all right. But I was just saying, if you're an interior defender and you're stopping them from driving in. And stopping them from going in the paint, you're forcing them to play a different game. Yeah. So that's the only, but you have to do it consistently throughout the whole game or the whole season. Yeah. If you're only doing it to certain teams, can't give it to you. Okay. That's so my you, opinion on do it. Do you think that defensive player of the year was given to him just because like blocks and being his ability to do stuff under the hoop strictly? I, interior or defensive player of the year has a lot to do with stats when it yeah. comes to blocks and steals and things like that. Because Opponent's of, field goal percentage. Yeah, like because if you look at a dude like Drew Holiday, Drew Holiday has clamps, bro. Look Derek at White, I think Derek White's play. a better defender than him too, but they got two great defenders over there in Boston. Derek White is also a great defender, but there are a lot and of he can stats defend. that you don't accumulate while, be, while being a good defender. Just forcing a dude to pick up the ball 
and they have to throw up a bad shot for a 24 second uh, violation. Or them you know, just passing the ball out exactly. because they can't do anything it's with it. It's more of like an efficiency rating that should be factored in. I think, yeah, and listen, like how, the eye uh, test should be yeah, used. It'd be hard to do, but like every time like the person they're defending has the ball and what they do with it. Yeah. Right, but it'd be like the next gen for NFL where they co- like they'll put a stat up like this corner is only allowed this much yeah. and he's, or like a like yeah. Miles Garrett, how many quarterback rushes he has. Right, but it you could know, be a stuff little like skewed. It could be hurries. It could be skewed too though because like let's just say the mm-hmm. Matt, I mean the uh, Timberwolves are playing a heavily three point shooting team. Let's say the Warriors, and they don't go to the paint. They don't really have a lot of paint presence. If they're just shooting threes, Rudy's efficiency is going to go up because there's not a lot of paint points scored. When he may yeah. not necessarily actually affect that game at all because they're not a paint team. You know what I mean? So like that's the only reason why I don't think that would necessarily work. I think the eye test is the most important thing. Like you see dudes out there really clamping up on good players. But to Rudy's point, I know Luka hit the shot on him. I know Jokic went at him and stuff like that. He's getting a lot of slander right now. Luka traveled, by the way. He did. But I think we are yeah. truly starting Can't to forget how skilled these offensive players are. Yeah. And everyone gets cooked. Everyone. There's Malachi Flynn put up 50 points this year. You know what I'm saying? I think these offensive players There's are still so, dudes I don't know who that is. I mean, there are moves now that we... Look at and if you remember semi pro when they threw the alley the first time and the ref blew the like, whistle. Whoa, he was like, Whoa, travel, yep, double dribble, <laughs> yeah, something, yeah, like you that, that ain't right. <laughs> there are moves now where we look and we're like, Did he just travel? Like, you don't know because they're so offensively skilled. So, I think defensive and players, it's an offensive game. It, if they do travel, they tend to it's, let it slide. It, they only call that the beginning of the year, they set the tone, Hey, we're gonna call travels this year, yeah, and then by game 30 it's done yeah so i think too we have to consider how skilled these offensive players are and give rudy a little bit of slack because Jokic did that to everybody yeah there's no one in the late garden Jokic. i mean first of dwight all. howard did the best job we've seen on Jokic in a while when he in the 2020 mm-hmm. finals in the bubble is Wemby gonna stop luca from hitting that no i don't think so either no i don't he might be seven four, but Rudy's wingspan. I don't know. I don't know any other center that would be able to guard that yeah like you don't know what rudy's wingspan is he might have a seven six wingspan i don't know so like, Wemby may not even. Wemby would be the only one that could out of any of the big men. That's the thing, really. though, bro. Pause, pause, pause. But Luca just kept yanking him. Like he just he went left, he went right, and go bear just off balance, off and balance. Yanked that shit. And then he got him to the point where when he went to contest, he was going this way, but he had to contest this way, so he couldn't even close in on him and really get into a space to affect the shot. That was just a great offensive move by Luca. And that's that that and. Terrible, terrible coaching by the Timberwolves. Mm-hmm. You don't put Cat in the game for the last eight minutes of the fourth quarter, at least defensively. So he's he's able to move better than Gobert. Yeah. Or offensively, I know Nas Reed was hitting all those threes. He was going crazy. Put Cat in the game for Gobert at least. That's my, that's my opinion. Shout out to Rudy, man. What did you want to talk about non basketball before we wrap up? <laughs> well, I think we need we need to wrap this conversation up. We, I don't think everybody gave their pick who they'd see in the finals. Yeah, we did. Um, we go. We, I'm I'm with you. So. I like we saying switched. Celtics, Mavs. Yeah, Celtics, Mavs. I don't um, think Tim I agree, do Matt. I don't know about you. Who do you got? Who do you who do you got in the the finals? You either got either the Mavs or like the Nuggets. Well, the Nuggets are out. Uh, nuggets are out. So open up out of the East. Let me water for you. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> out of the East, you can either have the Pacers or the Celtics. So who are you choosing out of that? I don't really like the Pacers. Probably the Celtics. All right, Celtics. They're either going to play the Mavs or the Timberwolves. Yeah, probably the Mavs. All right, Celtics, Mavs. Yep, so we all agree. It's unanimous. Um, my one question, it did have nothing to do with sports. I wanted to get Matt, since Matt went into the fountain of the, fountain, fountain of youth, fountain of youth yeah. he became a big video game player. True. So I wanted to know, <laughs> the oh, rest of your life. Oh, man. Rest of your life. Oh, yeah, you did ask this You question. can only play one video game. And when I say that, I, you can't say just Call of Duty. You it's got to be, series. Series it's gotta be one say, like, game from God. said series. Damn. So we'll start, we'll start with Dante. We'll go to Dante first, then we'll just go around the room. But I want to know, one game the rest of your life, you can't play anything else. What are you playing? Call me childish, but I'm picking Fortnite. Then the reason I'm picking, I'm picking Fortnite because it constantly changes. So while I'm stuck with this same game, at least month after month, the game will change. So I'll feel like I'm at least playing a different game a little bit. 
And now they have like Buku game modes. Yeah, like it's you like have crazy. so much within Fortnite. Yeah, that's, so like, that's a really good option. I, I like Fortnite just, just because, because of, how, of that. how often it changes. Yeah, because they have the Lego mode shit too. Yeah, yeah like, and it's like, not like they release like Fortnite They have the too. racing shit in it. I mean, yeah. even like creative, bro. Like you can get bored and build your whole map. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I Minecraft it up. Yeah. Yeah. Matt? Honestly, I agree with uh, Dante. Probably Don't Fortnite. piggyback me. Hey. He does bro. play a lot of Fortnite. I don't even play Fortnite like ever, but like. Well, dude, if you had to guess how many days you have played on Fortnite, how many? Probably do you like over three hundred days. I don't even. Maybe, Probably. bro. It's I could pull it up. It's pretty damn. Can Listen, you pull it up now? Yeah, on Xbox I don't, app. I don't want to tell you guys about my life. Do you of have Fortnite internet? When I had my son, I mean, it's embarrassing. Like Honestly, I don't, but I don't want to tell it. Like I play a lot of Rocket League, and how I have twenty-two it? days. How do you see it? Because I'm you have internet right now. You're able to see yeah, it. Yeah, I got yeah, it on, I'm on the Wi-Fi. Xbox app. You guys talk while, while young Henry. Yeah, so I'll let I'll let you go ahead. Any so, game ever. I want to be corny here. Let's say Minecraft. Oh. Because listen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that. He's allowed to say it. He's also yeah. in the men. So, I mean, here's the thing. If you if I could say a series, I'd say Call of Duty for sure. Yeah. No, one game. Um, God, I'm trying to think of a game that can... Like, I don't want to piggyback and say Fortnite. Because you can basically right. play Minecraft and Fortnite now. Right. And you can't say you can't say Madden because you'd have to pick which Madden. Well, you can. You can pick the newest Madden and just update rosters every year. Yeah. Which would be you a know pain in the ass, you could but... be the same. Um the only reason I'm gonna 167 say 167 days. 167 days. Are you on Fortnite. Fine, Fortnite. Fine, my cousin. All right. 167. Yeah, he's played that shit a lot. He said I don't play it that much. <laughs> this line, motherfucker. God damn near got half a year. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, call me. Minecraft. Okay. Minecraft's fun to play. I respect it. I'm gonna I'm picking the game that I'm personally the best at. <laughs> I already know. I'm I'm playing Rocket League. God, why would I, I wanna, don't know why you love it? Why that would game? I wanna play yeah, Fortnite? I'm days. bad at Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know that there's so much Minecraft within chill. Fortnite that you can play. Minecraft's cool. I haven't played it since I was probably and like you can play with friends. eighteen. And there's game modes in there. Or 18. I know Hunger Games. It's been like five, six years. It's been a while. But I, if I'm picking one game to play the rest of my life, Rocket League is owned by Epic Games, the same company that owns Fortnite. So they do update it. Obviously, there's only so much you can do to that game. But you get new cars, new maps, new game modes. Shit like that comes out all the time. Skyblock. But <laughs> if I have to play one game the rest of my life, I would have to pick the game that I personally am the best at, and that would be Rocket League. Like I enjoy Call of Duty, but I'm not like super sweet or nothing. I'm not super sweet at Rocket League. I'm just better at Rocket League than I am at Call of Duty. Minecraft's just chill, bro. Like, that's why I chose it. So, yeah. can I piggyback this question before we get out? Because you asked another question at the shop with that. Go ahead. Let's hear it. What is the best Call of Duty game? Ever? Out of all of them. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, all of them, Advanced Warfare. For me, I got to go Black Ops 2. That's the best Call of Duty. I don't care. Sue me. Fight me. I don't care about Rust. I don't care about Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty for me. Jordy. You want me to go? I don't remember asking that question. Was it not you? It might Maybe not it was D-Bake. But if you have to I think, feel I like have the, the two options that are the easiest are MW2 or Black Ops 2. So let's all just, you know, everybody normally would pick one of those two. I'm going to pick my personal favorite Call of Duty that I've played, and it's only because of it was during COVID. Call all of work? my friends, nobody worked. We just sat up Brian. all night. Drank mad monster energy and played mad Call of Duty. Like the jitters. Modern Warfare 2019 for me personally was the best, the best time period of Call of Duty for me. I had the most fun playing Call of Duty right. during that game. Okay. Like that. I think um Jesus. <laughs> um I think what the hell's going on over there? Black Ops Black Ops 2, I think, is one or two. I know it's a different company. If Modern Warfare 2019 had just any form of even like a decent round-based zombies, it would be the best Call of Duty no matter yeah. what. I know it's not the same company, but... Yeah, I would say Black Ops 2 is probably the greatest just for the fact of the zombies was great. They brought in, you know, the... What was the mode, the transit mode to where you go around the whole map? Green Run. Green what, Run? What mode? Yeah. Is that what it's called? To yeah, where yeah, you could just... you get on the bus? Farm. What mode? I Green said run. transit. <laughs> Anyways, was it, you talking about the one with the bus? Yeah, where you can go around the whole, mm -hmm. all the multiple maps. Of yeah, the, that was awesome. Um, and then that's, I'm a big competitive guy when it comes to Call of Duty. It's like one of the first times they added league play 
and a really good ranking system in Call of Duty. So that's why that would be up there. My favorite all time probably is Black Ops Three. Treyarch just makes really good, really good Call of Duties. That's Honestly, Black Ops Three, bro. All right, you I'm, ever play it? Yeah, I played every single one of them. It's because he ain't a jetpack kid. He he ain't got the he ain't got no <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> you seen him play? He wasn't a movement guy. He's not a movement guy. Yeah, he looks like a bot running around. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, he's a zero why. build Fortnite guy. I was a part. Nah, I build. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> he said I'm a builder. Bro. Nah, first off, because I'm a part of the touching grass generation. That's why. Dude, I touch more grass than you. Go ahead, Matt. Give me your response. <laughs> Dude, I'm pouring sweat, literally. <laughs> All right. So cheap, I'm going to piggyback Black Ops 2. Honestly, the campaign was. Stop like, copying me. Well, I said Black Ops 2, too. I'm Everyone said Black Ops 2. <laughs> Everybody said Fortnite, too. All right, keep going. But um, Black Ops 2, the campaign was great. Start off like right off of BO1. Yeah, dude, the campaign was good as fuck too. I forgot about that. Thanks. Zombies introduced like the whole storyline, the zombies and everything with like origins. origins. Oh my God, yeah. Uh, multiplayer just had like some of the best like fluid feeling guns, best maps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Hey, he revving Derek's engines up. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's <laughs> going home and getting on right after yeah. this. Hey. Let's do it. Let's get out of here now, bro. <laughs> That's it, everybody. Thank hey, you, you can re-download Black Ops 2 on your Xbox One. Let's do it's it. It's like remastered. Hey. Now there's hella hackers. You cannot play oh, let's not. Can you it. play zombies? So, uh, yeah. yeah, you can play zombies. Y'all want to get on tonight when we get home? Zombies? Everybody? Zombies like, everyone's marathon? like, we'll play zombies. Sure. You want to get, get on when we get home? Get zombies. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> wait, everybody? The cameras. Hey. Yeah, everybody good? We're getting, we're getting on zombies? Hey. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another banger of an episode of Barbershop Breakthrough. I'm sweating. Peace. Peace. Barbershop Breakthrough.